Today, the RDC or RCC, former RCC of Rwaga Division, Anderson Broda, was remanded to Rizira Prison. It all started when he came out and spoke against the corruption scandals in the Parliamentary Commission. We all know for the past few months, the public has always attacked the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Among, for, for allegedly committing corruption and using public funds in, in the way that goes against the Constitution. When Anderson Borola came out and spoke against the deputies, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Among, he was relieved of have his duties of being the RCC of Rubaga Division. And today was caught and a charge was placed on him. When you look at this charge, you clearly see that the charge goes like Anderson Borola Hubbard, MA, aged 37 years, Munyarwanda by tribe, businessman, residence of Kigo, Wantinda, Nakawa Division, Statement of Offense, Head Speech, Section 26A1, SC and 2 of the Constitution, Misuse Amended. Particulars of Offense, Anderson Burola Herbert, March 2024, and June 2024 in the area of Kampa district or thereabout while using a computer via X handle Anderson HB shared information which is likely to ridicule or degrade the and demean and promote hostility against the person against the person to with Honorable Anita Among. On Anita Among, the Speaker of Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. They went on to say that statements of first malicious information CSC to a blah blah of the com of the computer misuse amended act 2022 those are the particulars of offense in fact when you see that offense it is <laughs> i don't think that offense can maintain in the court although i'm not allowed to speak about the offense i can be charged of this subjudice so in this episode i've come to talk about why is the speaker continuing to arrest those he deems talking about him against the corruption what can what it means for our politics and most importantly the certain materials we can learn from the politics of our nation but before i do this i want to let you know that if you're new to this channel please subscribe if you're watching this video from a different platform please head on to youtube type in sula mawagari there's a lot of content of this nature if geopolitics and economics is what you want this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So, when you clearly see it, is be, it has been a norm that the Speaker of Parliament has arrested not one, not two people who have come out to either call her out or ridicule him on social media platforms. And I think that is not a good gesture of a public servant on the, of, of that magnitude. In fact, if General Seven wanted to arrest everyone who talks about him, he would arrest the whole country. Okay? And it shows how the Speaker of Parliament is not patient. Okay? Any public servant, most especially those who had one arm of government, can be ridiculed, can be ridiculed. Sometimes speaking truth to him or her, sometimes speaking falsehood. But does not, does, that does not warranty for a person to be arrested. In fact, if you look at the charge sheet, basing on different charge sheets or different cases, such cases don't see that they're in court. Just that some people want to show power that he can put you under police custody for days, maybe take you to Luzira uh, for a month or so or two weeks, but trust me, it won't see that day. Okay? And I feel bad that this is going on in the, on the country. The Speaker of Parliament must learn to get a thick skin. Because sometimes the people are going to speak falsehood or things which are correct against her. And you won't come out to imprison everyone. Very many people came out to be happy that Anderson Rural has been uh, condoning such arrests. To other opposition leaders. In fact, under, in a clip which I'm going to show you, it shows how Anderson Rura came out to say that those people are arrested, most especially those from the opposition, are aiming at getting uh, going out of the country. And it was absurd. Okay, this this what I mean is this person who was being who is being arrested by the speaker has been condoning arrest of opposition activists. So when they arrested him, even some opposition members came out to ridicule him that is 
testing you know his own medicine in fact in a clip before his arrest this is what he used to say about the arrest, arrest. here is the tape joel amanyatia ntigundi supporter wange joel amanyatia ntigundi member we chibina chafi olokuba yakwatidwa watiange yeyita member we chibina cho gogama ante member wo ainaka kwate kubirala ye ye rachi to wabudde now kan kubulire zambali ne bana yuganda bakitegere bulunji nso nzo kubuza eric yani mu byobufuzi bya yuganda eric mwesigo eric mwesigo taina eni upi bano ajukira yo bagendere nye bwero bongereza america ne bafuna akatale ko kufurumya abantu mu gwanga in the Baru. name of asylum Baru. in the name of political persecution so correct kati bando bateka wa kwa kufuna asylum tugenda kutulugunyanga bando okukusi recommending eri you have you have to pay kati osasula tene bakuba osasula ne bakozinga what amounts for you to get asylum to way example yo mtu omwika classified Sibabi. Ofuna. Mhm. Tena maso. Gweja no sasula e milioni zo 10 ntinjagala kugenda Canada oba mu Bungereza oba mu Europe. Nibako cha ni pass. You get it. <laughs> Bone bako zinga what amounts for you to get asylum. That is Anderson Brola. Although I think even though he said those words a person who is fi fighting for equity a person who is fighting for constitutionalism even when is to mentor is being is facing the same injustices we must continue fighting against that vice because if you actually do and Anderson Obora is being arrested for coming out to make such statements the same will happen to you so it's better to or, or to to first fight for him get out of the prison so that you can remind him of his noble duty you never know he can be that he can do the right thing okay Okay. And this message goes to on all NRM members. The good thing with the constitution, if you abuse the constitution, there comes a day when you want the same constitution to come to your rescue. But you won't be able to catch it because you would have abused it to a, to a maximum of not it coming to your rescue. So it is a duty for every Ugandan to protect to fight for for constitutionalism and the rule of law. That's why I don't condone Borola's arrest. Of course, that's my opinion. Drew me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this offers someone on the YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that you can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.